Welcome to the update. I'm Talisa Ryder. Four people have been charged with trying to manipulate Aussie stocks. It's alleged they were involved in a pump and dump scam where the value of cheap shares is artificially pumped up before they're sold off at inflated prices. ASIC Chair Joe Longo says investment decisions should be made carefully and with advice from someone licensed to provide it. Not rely on strangers who are pumping up shares and saying things about shares that they can't be relied upon. The four people charged face a maximum of 15 years in jail. An American man has been arrested after a Perth man was stabbed to death in Thailand. It's believed the 35-year-old was knifed outside a bar in the coastal town of Krabi. A 43-year-old man has since been charged with his death. Foreign Affairs now providing consular assistance to the victim's family. Cost of living pressures is being blamed for a drop in Australia's birth rate. It's the sharpest fall since the 1970s and affects all states except Tasmania. KPMG demographer Terry Ronsley says higher costs are seeing couples put off plans for children. A pretty significant drop in the number of births and over that period the population's growing so we really are pulling back on that front. Cost of living so it's just harder to kind of make the sums work to sort of have the first child or you add to the family. Over in the US and the Democrats have wasted no time in naming Kamala Harris as their presidential nominee. She secured enough delegates to win the nomination after Joe Biden stepped down and has already raised $100 million in campaign funds. And scientists are trying to figure out why sharks caught off the coast of Brazil are testing positive to cocaine. 13 sharks were hauled in and all of them had high levels of the drug. Some theories include human waste making its way into local waterways or discharge from illegal drug labs. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, basketball great Shane Heal says he has doubts about the Boomers' chances of winning gold at the Olympics. Boomer star Josh Giddy is adamant they're out to win the tournament, but Heal says it's a long shot. As an Australian kid, I think representing your country in Olympic Games is probably the pinnacle of, of basketball, and obviously everyone wants to play in the NBA, but it's a different feeling when you get to come here, wear the green and gold. And former world number one Andy Murray has confirmed he'll retire from tennis after the Paris Olympics. He's taken to social media to announce Paris would be his final tournament and is proud to be able to play one last time. In entertainment news, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds have finally revealed the name of their fourth child, Olin. The Deadpool and Wolverine star making the sweet announcement during the movie's premiere in New York while thanking his entire family for being there with him. There's rumours a big name could be leading the celebrations at the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics. Both Celine Dion and Lady Gaga have been spotted in Paris just days before the event. And Eminem has ended Taylor Swift's historic reign at number one on the Billboard 200. His album The Death of Slim Shady has debuted at number one, unseating Swift's The Tortured Poets Department after 12 consecutive weeks. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of the update for you tomorrow.